We're continuing with the halachot of Tisha B'Av and Siman Tav Kufnun Daled. Maram brings down that Notel Adav Yadayim Shachrit V'Tzerich Lizayel Shlo Yitol Yadav El Hatsof Kishetz Be'otav Which means that on Tisha B'Av what we're going to do is we're going to wash our hands in the morning when we wake up. However, we're not going to wash our hands fully. We're only going to wash our hands until the knuckles. And that's what we were allowed to do on Tisha B'Av. And then obviously in the night time there is a chumrah that some people will do, that at the end of Tisha B'Av, when it's already going to be permitted to come and to do netilat edayim, they'll do a full netilat edayim, and then they'll be able to partake from any type of food or anything else that they'll do because they didn't do a full netilat edayim in the morning. This is all to do with every single individual when he comes and he does it in the morning. However, the kohanim, when they are going to be doing birka kohanim, they are allowed to do a full netilat edayim. The reason why is because they're only doing it, not just stam for tanu, they're doing it in order to do the avodah, and therefore, since in the Avodah, in the Bet HaMikdash, it was also done, right, the entire hands. So therefore, also on Tisha B'Av, you could do the entire hands. Now, Maran and Sif Yudalef brings down, After you already wash your hands, and your hands are still moist, so what you're allowed to do is, You're allowed to put them over your eyes. And if you've got, let's say, the mucus, which is right under your eyes, right, and therefore you usually come, and you wash it off, so you're allowed to wash it off because that's considered like the teeth and the tzua that a person could come if the person has dirt. So they're allowed to come and they're allowed to wash it off afterwards. So therefore, right after you've done it, tilat edayim, you come with your hands moist and you take away anything which is in your eyes and there's no problem. Now, Maran brings down in Sif Tetvav, Sicha ena sura l'shem ta'anug. Sicha is only going to be a prohibited for ta'anug. What does that mean? If a person comes and they want to anoint themselves, but you're doing it for beneficial purposes. You're enjoying. You're not allowed to benefit on Tisha B'Av. And therefore it's going to be prohibited. But based upon this, says Rav Ovadi Yosef in the Chazon of Adiyah, it is permitted to put on any type of perfume or anything which is going to be to, to give a reach tova la guf, right? To give a good sm- a fragrance on the body. Neged reach azeah, right? Ne- uh, when it's going to be against any type of a negative smell which is going to be in the body. Because it's not considered sicha. That's going to be number one. And number two, he says, Shelo Even if it is going to be considered sicha, he says at the end of the day, it's not going to be considered anything else. So therefore it comes out that if a person is coming and putting on perfume in order that he should, shouldn't smell bad on Tisha B'Av, it's going to be permitted according to Ravovadi Yosef.